the black community was just, we were really celebrating the Martin Luther King celebration. And at a committee meeting at the YWCA one night, somebody suggested a Martin Luther King breakfast. I left that meeting and the word got out that I walked in the mayor's office unannounced. I may have done that. But the idea was to get the total community involved in the celebration of Martin Luther King's birthday. And when I left that office, Mayor Riley was committed to work with the YWCA. And the rest is history. We didn't try to get the total community involved without his leadership. And he guided us in wherever we are this day, Mayor Riley did that. As a result, a result of working for the YWCA, I had the opportunity to use many of my skills that I didn't even know I had. But we got hundreds of people involved in the community, doing things for the community through the YWCA. It is a special day here at Hampton Park in downtown Charleston, and Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s profound impact on the low country is felt each and every day. Whether you live in Charleston, Somerville, Mount Pleasant, even Walterboro, of course, he visited Charleston in July of 1967. This was just a year before he was assassinated. Absolutely. And of course, today, Brendan, is a day that, again, millions of people around the world, and certainly those of us right here in this community, reflect on the legacy of Dr. King. We are so proud to be able to bring you this special message right now from the mayor of the city of Charleston, John Tecklenburg. Hello everyone, Mayor Tecklenburg here in downtown Charleston welcoming you to the annual parade celebrating the life and legacy of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Usually on this national and city holiday, thousands of our citizens will line the streets of Charleston to watch the MLK parade. But this year, we will be having the parade virtually in partnership with our great sponsor and partner, WCBD Channel 2. They've been a terrific partner over years. You can count on two. Thank you much. Charleston was blessed to have welcomed Dr. King here on a few occasions. And the last occasion was in July of 1967 during the height of the Civil Rights Movement. On that celebrated occasion, Dr. King is remembered to have said, I come here not as an outsider, but an insider with real connections to the state of South Carolina and to Charleston. Well then, as now, Dr. King's connection lives inside our hearts and minds and remains with us. So I ask you, I challenge you to not only celebrate, but to help live out the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. He was that great drum major for justice. So enjoy the parade and have a happy MLK day. God bless. We love hearing the sound of the Charleston Fire Department. <laughs> Always good to see the fire department in the parade. The Charleston Fire Department was founded in 1882 and continues to meet the demanding needs of our community, serving some 140,000 people and over 6 million visitors each year. Welcome, Charleston Fire Department. We love to see them. Certainly a responsibility from all those firefighters to keep us safe. And boy, oh boy, do they do just that. We certainly love to see them kicking off this wonderful day at Hampton Park as we celebrate the MLK Parade here in downtown Charleston. And Brenda, the first fire department in Charleston was actually the Friendly Society 
Society, that was the name of it, the Friendly Society Insurance Company, which began service to its members in 1736. The fire service in Charleston began to change in 1819 when it became a volunteer effort, which lasted until 1882 when paid professional fire department staff with more than 100 firefighters were formed. So great to see the Charleston Fire Department here in Hampton Park as we celebrate Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day in Charleston. And as you can say, they are starting off this parade right here as they are making it down the parade route here at Hampton Park. And you can see, if you can see behind the fire truck, they got a lot of floats behind them and a lot of smiling faces and a lot of happy people. We certainly love to see this. And everyone here, it is a great day here in downtown Charleston. That's right. This the 25th. YWCA of Greater Charleston and City of Charleston Parade. We are so happy that so many people were able to safely participate this year. We recorded our broadcast in advance so that we would be able to bring it to you today. Those are the sight and sounds of parade right there, Carolyn. They most certainly are setting the tone for a <laughs> wonderful Martin Luther King Jr. Day Parade in Charleston. We do this each and every year, so happy to do it. Uh, we remember years and years. Sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's warm, but uh, always have a great time when we've been on King Street or Hampton Park. Certainly a significance of why the parade is held here at Hampton Park today. The inaugural MLK celebration in Charleston was one of the first national tributes of its kind. It was first held on January 15, 1972, and the regional event has grown to traditionally encompass 10 days each January and is the largest MLK celebration in South Carolina. Because of COVID-19, the event this year is largely virtual, but nonetheless, full of lots of enthusiasm and lots of spirit as we again recognize the work and legacy of this great visionary, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And we certainly appreciate everyone who's participated in this special day. We want to talk about, of course, the YWCA of Greater Charleston. <laughs> they are the reason this parade goes on year after year, and we certainly appreciate that. The YWCA of Greater Charleston has worked to eliminate racism and empower women in Charleston, Berkeley, and Dorchester counties here in South Carolina. Now, our inaugural MLK celebration was one of the first national tributes of its kind. That's as right. The there MLK is the YWCA right there, Brendan. So glad to see our Y friends more than 114 years in this community. Great to see them. And take a look at the Ebony City Soccer Club. Hey, guys. Great to see you. <laughs> Happy Great MLK to see Day. The Great to see you. There is LaVonda. LaVonda. As the executive hey. director of the YWCA. Hey. Great to see Misi Cunningham as well, all of our Y friends. And Judge Tammy Curry right there. Absolutely glad to see the hello to our friends there celebrating the great work of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And here again, Great to the see that Ebony float, City too. Soccer Club looking strong <laughs> in the MLK Parade today. Great to see these Happy athletes. Happy MLK Day. Thank you. Great Always to see good you. Always good to see them right there with all kinds of banners and markers. And I tell you, we saw that float go by. I guess who made that float? Who made that float? <laughs> Sergeant <laughs> Sergeant. Hey there. And look at my family. <laughs> <laughs> the, and it's oh. a very special float for me. Hello, my Ryan. Little Miss Ryan Murray, who is good to see you, Fred Chetta. This year, hi, Ryan, New Cannon Street Baptist Church. We think I think we know those people. I there, think there. we know those people That's your very sister. well. Yeah, yeah. Hey there, hi. good to see Great you. To the see League you. of Women Voters also uh, in the lineup today. Thank good you. Good to see you all right there. Great to see all, all the right. smiling faces out Absolutely. here today, Carolyn. It's wonderful. Reminding people the importance of voting, of course. Acute heating and air right now. Yeah, great to see you. Of the YWCA empowering women and eliminating racism clearly on display right now. That was acute heating and air going by our stand right now. Thank you very much, Thomas Edwards, the company founder and certified HVAC mechanical contractor. He has started acute heating and cooling as a one-person operation. Continue on this beautiful day as Calvary Episcopal Church right now is making its way down the parade route, Carolyn. All right. It's an historic African-American congregation in the heart of the peninsula of Charleston, South Carolina, and it was established way back in 1847. 
a beautiful, very small church on Line Street, I believe it is, in downtown Charleston. Always great to see them as well. Calvary Episcopal coming in strong for the MLK Parade today. And in 2006, Calvary Church was honored as an historic site during the Moja Arts Festival. Again, made history that same year when Father Terrence A. Lee, Father James Jimmy Gallant III, and Father Dallas H. Wilson Jr. were all ordained. So certainly a very special time Hello. for everyone involved. Good to see the members of Calvary Episcopal. Hello, good to see you. Happy MLK Day. The Bosch Hello. Group, Robert Bosch is coming up next. Great to see you. Thank you. Robert Bosch is a leading global supplier of automotive and industrial technology, consumer goods, and building technology. Some 374,000 associates folks from generated Bosch. sales Absolutely. of over 70.6 billion euros worldwide in 2015. Lots Thank you, Bosch of Group, for from the Bosch community on the parade today. Hello. Hello, good to see you. What hey. a beautiful float. What a beautiful float. Wonderful Thank to see you. you. Happy ML King Day. Thank you, Bosch. Thank you, Bosch. Such a great group up there on Dorchester Road. The facility has uh, manufactured high quality automotive products for more than 30 years. NWC Atlantic is next. Thank you very much. The Naval Information Warfare Center Atlantic reports directly to the Naval Warfare Systems Command, and that's located in San Diego, California. That's right, and they say that their mission is to motivate and educate, and they are doing just that today by participating in the MLK Parade. And good to see our friends here from Star 99.7, Charleston Radio Group. We see our good friends there in the van right now, blasting music. <laughs> Star 99.7. Always good to 92. see them. 5 Kicking Country, The Box, Hello Chuck there, FM. Chef. Charleston Radio Group 99.3 and heaven with our good friend Chef. Chef's been <laughs> very busy. We just, of course, always see him with that big yeah. donation during our Toys for Tots campaign. And yeah. good to see him again today with Charleston Radio Group. Lots of folks, dozens of folks turning out to Hampton Park today for this, the 25th parade recognizing the work of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. As we continue on this parade route right here, so happy to see everyone involved. We know coming through next, the Jewish Federation, then the Charleston County Democratic Party as well. We thank everyone very much for coming through. The Democratic Party, their mission is to educate and encourage participation in the political process by people of all backgrounds who support democratic principles. Funds garnered from their participation will be used to help elect Democratic candidates and to support Democratic programs. And representing the National Panhellenic Council right now, this of course is a collaborative organization of nine historically African-American international Greek-lettered fraternities and sororities, of which I am proudly a part of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. We lovingly call ourselves the Divine Nine and the Panhellenic Council always shows up great to see representatives from phi beta sigma alpha phi alpha omega psi phi kappa alpha psi leading the way right now sigma gamma rho alpha kappa alpha delta sigma theta hello there good to see hey you reverend doctor good seeing you good seeing you thank you for good being to here see you all right hello Good to Hello. see members of Sigma Gamma Rho, Alpha Phi Alpha. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to Great see you all. You. Good seeing you. Strong showing of the Panhellenic Council today at well, the MLK Parade in Hampton Park. Wasn't your husband an Omega? My husband is an Alpha. Uh oh. <laughs> I could get in trouble, trouble for that one. You're in trouble <laughs> for that I one. I am so sorry. Oh, I will no, keep my mouth shut. Good. It's all good. Good to see you, <laughs> members of the American Legion. Hey there. Good to see you. And what would we do without first student to make sure that our students got to school safely every day? Great to see the first student bus Great in to the see MLK him. Day Parade. Yeah, we know so much has gone Absolutely. on in the last Hello. year or so due to the pandemic. And the fact that they get those students safely to class is a wonderful thing. We have missed being together and glad we, we were able to safely bring you this parade today. It's good to see everyone out. And they have showed up in big numbers here at Hampton Park in downtown Charleston. 
There's Sergeant Allen himself in the MLK Parade. Sergeant Allen, a big part of why this parade is so successful every year, responsible for building many of the floats we see, <laughs> and this is certainly one of them. Stay with us. More Martin Luther King Jr. Day Parade after this quick break. Again, we are so happy you are able to join us for the 25th Martin Luther King Jr. Day Parade. We are in Hampton Park today. What a great day for a parade, and it would not be a parade without a great band. <laughs> You're darn right, and we have plenty of them to talk about on this special day, and one of them comes all the way up from St. George. We're talking about the Woodland High School Marching Band as they recorded this performance and sent it to us, and we want you to take a listen and watch. for being part of this special day. We are in Hampton Park in downtown Charleston, the King Day Parade. We'll be right back. We certainly do love our marching bands when it comes to a parade, and this one is certainly special and near and dear to this one right here because we are talking about the Burke High School Marching Band, and this is something you love. And whenever you say that, you have to say the mighty. I do. The mighty. My the bad. mighty Burke High School bad, Marching Band, of which yeah. I was a part of, and all of my siblings, we love the Burke High School Marching Band. Let's take a listen. <laughs> We're certainly so happy to be here. It is the 25th year of this special King Day Parade, and it wouldn't be possible without the YWCA of Greater Charleston. That's right, and a big part of that, of course, is our good friend, LaVonda Brown. LaVonda, thank you so much for being here. Oh, absolutely. Thank you all for doing this so often, and just year <laughs> after year, we can count on you, and we couldn't do it without the Charleston community. Absolutely. We are very happy to partner with the YWCA and the city of Charleston and making sure that this happens, and of course, we know that history is that this event started in part because of the work and passion and dedication of Christine Osborne Jackson some 50 absolutely. years ago. Yeah. She went to the city of Charleston and said this event should happen. Yes, absolutely. Miss Christine Jackson is like a mentor of mine. She is she's she's just a woman with so much wisdom and knowledge and passion. And so filling her shoes has not been easy, <laughs> but the Charleston community really does support this work that this organization is doing to empower women and eliminate racism. And you were saying you count on us, but we and so many people have counted on you. One of them is Carolyn Burry. Absolutely. And the great <laughs> programs that you have at the Y. Talk about some Absolutely. of them. Absolutely. So you know you are a Y. You are a product, a product. of the Y. A product of the Y. <laughs> Absolutely. And we are continuing to empower our young girls with our She Strong program, which is leadership for high school girls. They're learning advocacy and leadership skills. We're teaching coding for girls that are, uh, we're starting in third grade. And we're really teaching them a skill where we can work towards reducing that wage gap between men and women and teaching them a skill that they can earn a livable wage. And then of course our What Women Bring mm -hmm. event that we have every year where we honor women in different industries. And then our last program is our We360, which is our uh, Women's Empowerment 360 program, which is for entrepreneurs of color that are women that are trying to make their mark as entrepreneurs in this community. And it what you described really it shows just how comprehensive the WISE programs are, supporting women, supporting girls, yes. eliminating racism in our community. This has always been the mission of the WISE, and you continue to do it very well. Thank you, absolutely. It's going to be our mission, and if, if the programs align with that mission, then we're all on board for it. 
Yeah, we certainly appreciate it. And this has been a great opportunity for us to continue to celebrate the work and legacy of Dr. King. This being the 25th parade, but again, 50 years of celebration in our community. This year we had to change things a bit, right? We did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's wonderful. We, we love doing it. We love being here. And I know the mission is great and you've been doing it for so long, but yeah. it continues to be a, a, a very important mission. That's yes. for sure. And we will continue to do it no matter what anything says, whatever COVID says, we're going to find a way to continue to live out the dream of Dr. King and the mission of the YWCA. All right, LaVonda Brown, thank you so much. And thank you. It's Thanks, always LaVonda. so good to see so many people out and continuing to live the dream of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Stay with us. We are continuing with our celebration of the work and legacy of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. here in Hampton Park for this, the 25th MLK Day Parade. It has been such a marvelous day down here in Hampton Park in downtown Charleston. We appreciate you joining us for our annual coverage of the King Day Parade. I always enjoy working it's with so you, It's so fun, too. isn't it? All the <laughs> smiling faces has been great. Absolutely. Band, bands, kings, queens, <laughs> lots of floats, lots of organizations, businesses, all representing their connection to Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and his mission. So proud to partner once again with the YWCA of Greater Charleston and of course the city of Charleston in this, our recognition of the work of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Thank you for being with us and we look forward to seeing you later today.